Hey, how's it going? I'm Robert DeLong, and you're watching Ambi. Hey everyone, it's Leisha from Ambi, and I would like to welcome you to our interview with Robert DeLong. How's it going? Good, how are you? Fantastic. You are absolutely just killing the festival game right now. Like, you're playing so many festivals, and you're at Way Home today. How do you feel the summer's in Trini so far? How are you feeling? I mean, it's been a lot of fun. It's been great. You know, I mean, I, I love playing festivals. I love playing shows. I love meeting new people, and I love traveling, so it's great. <laughs> <laughs> well, for you, when you play festivals, what's the best or coolest part of it all? Uh, I mean, obviously, it's great to be able to introduce yourself to new fans, and, you know, I mean, that's a big part of playing festivals, but... Uh, I don't know. I mean, I, I think it's so cool to see how different festivals are in different places. You know, we're, uh, you know, basically in the woods right now, which yeah. is cool. And, you know, uh, and, you know, just uh, a couple of days ago, I did a festival in Cincinnati, you know, in the middle of the city. And it's cool to just kind of be in different environments and kind of see how it goes over uh, with different crowds and stuff like that. It's fun. I have to say that you have such a fun Twitter feed. We've been following you for so long. And every time <laughs> one of your tweets pop up, I'm like, oh, that is <laughs> that is a good one. So I have a couple quotes from you here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So the other day you actually sent out, I'm in favor of man buns, but in 20 years, the hashtag man bun will hold the same cultural significance that the mullet does now. What sparked that tweet for you? Were you walking around and saw some good old man buns? Uh, yeah, I mean, I so I live in Denver now, and uh, it's uh, it's not as man bunny as, say, Echo Park in Los Angeles, but it's per still pretty man bunned out. And yeah, it was, <laughs> we were walking around, and there's there some man buns floating around, and it just kind of was like, you know, it's cool. I'm glad that people are doing it, but definitely like... You know, like 20 years later, the mullet was like, uh, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and another one you sent out uh, back in April was, hey, guys, follow me on Craigslist. Hashtag follow for follow. So are you on Craigslist? <laughs> no, You're no. not even on Craigslist? I mean, no, no. I, I don't know. I For a little while there, I was just kind of obsessed with calling everything Craigslist. I don't know. That's a funny word to me. I like Craig. It's a good name. Anyway. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't have an account at all. It was just like, oh. No, I mean, I've, I've posted things on Craigslist, like okay. old gear, you know, uh, pieces of wood, stuff like that. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Well, on the music front, In the Cards dropped last fall. I know yep. you've been playing so many shows and touring so much. Have you had any time to write some new material, play stuff out? You know, actually, it was around probably May that I had about three or four weeks off. And, uh, yeah, I started working on new tunes. And since then, you know, during the summer, it's been kind of nice. just been going out for weekends for festivals. So I've had the weekdays off to kind of work on new songs. i got about 30 demos accumulated right now. Oh, and we'll see. Cool. we'll see what happens. That's exciting. Yeah. Well, from that album, my favorite track would be Selling You Something. Sick. There's something about the groove on that song that <laughs> I just love. So can you tell me a little bit more about that? Yeah. Track? Um, you know, I mean, I love that. That's, that's actually my favorite song to perform live, uh, which I will be playing here today, Ooh. which is cool. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I was like, uh, in a weird way, I was thinking a lot about, like, um, prints and stuff like that at the time uh it's not really that kind of groove exactly but there was something about it maybe it was just like the pitch vocals or something that that, that that was the inspiration for it but yeah i mean you know i, I I'm, I'm i've been a house head for a long time and it's kind of like a it's like a really like heavy house groove yeah, like you absolutely. know hitting you in the face a little bit which is cool <laughs> <laughs> when i think of house grooves they just automatically get me dancing i feel like that's kind of the intent behind them right 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 for yourself favorite dance moves Favorite dance moves. I don't really have any good dance moves. I have, uh, uh, you know, I'm pretty much always doing the running man. <laughs> <laughs> Blend out the classic. Yeah, it's cool, you know. All right. <laughs> it takes a little bit less skill than some of the other dance moves. And, uh, you know, I'm a high energy person, so it works out. Okay. Well, I just want to go right into a quick fire round with you, which is perfect for high energy people. So the first question being, if you could trade places with another artist in the industry for a day, which would that be? Oh, it's supposed to be quick fire. I'm supposed to answer really quick, right? <laughs> yes. Uh, Tom York, because I love Radiohead. All right, and then what's your favorite thing to eat while on the road? Thai food. The last movie you watched that you really enjoyed? Uh, Star Trek Beyond. Your favorite slang word or term to use that's like lingo? Dope sauce. Dope sauce. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold the quick part for a second. I've never heard of dope sauce. It's like dope, but, you know, just a little bit, a little a little bit spicier, yeah. Okay. <laughs> and then the last photograph you took on your phone? Uh, it's so boring. I took a picture of some settings on some preamps on my equipment to remember them. So that's that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's to wrap everything up today. Any final words or parting words for all the fans we'll be viewing? Uh, you know, I'm making new music, so uh, keep your ears and eyes out. I'm going to do some new stuff in the future. See you then. Perfect. Thank you so much for your time today. Cheers. And remember to everyone viewing, you can visit us at musicblogia.com for all exclusive interviews, features, videos, and so much more with your favorite artists. See you next Ooh. time.